October 2nd, 1869. The political and spiritual leader of modern India, his people had bestowed upon him the title of Mahatma, meaning great soul. His life was unique in our time. Clothed in loincloth of linen, he ate only enough to survive, and many times he fasted for days to win reforms for India. His disciples included India's great and humble, and at his side could be found Pandit Nehru, who was one day to become the first prime minister of a new republic of India. Beginning in 1919, Gandhi and his followers pursued a long program to secure India's independence from Britain. Gandhi advised his followers not to buy British goods, not to hold office, not to pay taxes, and not to go to British schools. Time and again, they went to prison for their campaigns of passive resistance and civil disobedience. So numerous were Gandhi's followers and so wholeheartedly did they accept his program that the British government held two roundtable conferences on India's problems. One was attended by the Mahatma in 1931. He went by steerage, taking along two milk goats. He would not change his dress, even, he said, if there was a possibility he'd be called to Buckingham while in London. His boycotts had paralyzed Lancashire's mill industry, but the nationalist demands were not met. The paradox was that Britain feared letting Gandhi die as a result of his hunger strikes, lest he become a martyr. En route home via Paris, Gandhi had for the last time seen England, to which he had first journeyed at age 19 to study law. Stopping over in Geneva, he made one of his rare appearances for the purpose of addressing a public gathering outside India. He spoke firmly in English. I regard myself as a soldier, though a soldier of peace. It is complete independence that we want. In August 1947, his dream of a free India became a reality. But Gandhi was deeply troubled by Hindu-Muslim violence. In January 48, he was shot to death by a Hindu assassin. His body was cremated on the bank of the sacred Jumna River in Delhi. Each year, a pilgrimage is made to his shrine. Hand weaving is further tribute to the great soul who became India's most notable citizen. Mahatma Gandhi left his mark on our time.